Yep, yes, sir. Jesus is Lord. The word works. Pastor Frank, how do I bring glory to God? What can I do to bring glory to God? Well, let's see what Jesus said about that. In the Gospel of John, chapter 15, start reading from verse 1 all the way down through verse 8. You study that. You'll see that Jesus is talking about abiding in him. He says this, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, it's talking about abiding in him and receiving from him, and it's talking about a prayer life. Jesus said that in red letters. Let me show you this. It's all in red. John chapter 15. It's all in red. Verse 1 through verse 8. Study it. But now I'm going to read particularly out of verse 5, 6, and 7. It says, I am the, um, abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, we have to do it through him, through his power, with his anointing. This is not something we just go out and do all by ourselves. Then watch this. He said, verse 7, if you abide in me and my words abide in you. This is strong stuff here now. You shall ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. Wow. Now watch. Abiding in him is the main thing there. You got to abide in him, put your trust and life in Jesus' hands, but then you've got to let that word grow up on the inside. Yeah, I might get into that tomorrow, but you've got to learn how to operate in this so that you know what you can believe God for. Now watch this. It says, and you, 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 shall ask what you will. Did you know that your will is becomes the will of the Father when the word abides in you and you abide in him? You shall ask what you will. Now watch this. You shall ask what you will, and it, the thing that you ask, shall be done unto you. Victory in prayer. Now watch. It's strong. I hope you got your seatbelt fastened this morning. Herein is my Father glorified. Well, now right there, Jesus is going to tell Frank, going to tell you how you can glorify God. I don't care who you are, where you are, he's going to tell you right here. Herein is my Father glorified. Red letters, Jesus said it. That you bear much fruit, so shall you be my disciples. Bear much fruit. Oh, I got to bear fruit. I got to go out on the streets and witness. I got to win people to the Lord. I got to lay hands on the sick. You know, I got to cook banana pudding and take it to the sick neighbor. I got to do all. No, 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 no. Go back starting in verse one and come all the way down here to verse eight. Jesus is talking about winning in prayer. <laughs> Watch now. I'm going to read this. Here it is my father glorified. Chapter before that. You can't take a verse out of context, Okay. Herein is my Father glorified that you bear much fruit. What kind of fruit? Prayer fruit. Just simply prayer fruit. You ought to learn how to pray. Now, Brother Hagin's got a little book called Six Steps to Answer Prayer. I've read that thing probably 50 times, maybe 100 times. You ought to pray specifically for the things that you want, you desire, or your needs, and you ought to receive exactly what you pray for, not get somewhere close. Somebody says, I'm believing God for, you know, a new white Cadillac. Well, if somebody gives you a green Oldsmobile, well, they don't make those anymore, gives you a green, uh, you know, a Chevrolet, then you didn't get your prayers answered. See, what I'm saying is we need to learn to pray to bring the Father much glory. I want to read it again. Herein is my Father glorified. This is what Jesus said. Not how many people we win to the Lord, and we should be out there witnessing and winning people to the Lord. Not how many banana puddings we cook to help the, you know, the church. Not how many chicken dinners we buy because they're trying to raise money for a new wing. None of that really is important. I mean, it's important to us in the community to have the church and all the stuff. Yeah, that's important. But that's not what brings God glory. Here it is my Father glorified that you bear much fruit. And he's talking about what? If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. So he's talking about winning in prayer. Winning in prayer. Herein is my father glorified that you bear much prayer fruit. Now we have four children. They're all in, you know, serving God. 
three of them's pastors or associate pastors and, and the others work in their church and they're, you know, we're, we're believing God. Uh, five of my 11 grandchildren are either in full-time ministry or studying for ministry. The rest of them's too young. We're, we're blessed to be as blessed as we are, but I've prayed for every one of my children that they would serve God and I pray regularly for each one of my grandchildren and I'm watching them grow and we're doing what we can to help them. And I got so excited the other night when I got a phone call that Valentine, the eight year old, the youngest that I have right now, it, she, she hit a home run. Boy, that, I don't, that's great. Man, that's wonderful. I mean, you know, as a grandfather, as a father, I go, wow. I mean, she's out there winning. So God gets glory. We'll read it. Here is my father glorified that you bear much fruit, prayer fruit. Well, you can't bear much prayer fruit if you don't know how to pray. I'm going to tell you a story tomorrow. It's going to be not a whole lot of word, but I'm going to tell you a story. I'm going to show you something. You got to learn how to do it. Get everybody's book you can get on the Lord's Prayer. Get, well, not everybody's because some of them don't believe the Bible. Read the Bible, study the Bible. Brother Hagin's got some really good books. One's called Six Steps uh, to Answer Prayer. Good book. You ought to read that and learn how to pray. Bring God glory because you do when you have much prayer fruit. Got to go. Saints be blessed. So until I'm with you tomorrow, remember Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.